My name is Andy Rosser and I'm the Stroke Liaison Officer for West Midlands Ambulance Service. Stroke affects around 152,000 people a year in the UK. That's about one stroke patient having a stroke at about every three and a half minutes. One million people live with the consequences of stroke from previous episodes and it affects all age ranges including children and babies all the way through to adults and is most prominent in the over 65. Stroke is the leading cause of disability in the UK and is the fourth largest cause of death in the UK. Western Midlands Ambulance Service attend 28,000 patients a year who are suspected of having a stroke. That works out to be about one patient every 20 minutes. The classic stroke symptoms are the symptoms that are picked up within the FAST test, the face, arm, speech test. Um, the most common symptoms are patients will have a facial weakness, uh, they may have loss of sensation or loss of power or range of movement in one of their arms and uh, there may be some noticeable slurred speech or difficulty in finding words. Hi I'm Bryn Halliwell, I'm 56 years old and on August the 31st 2005 I had an accident while cycling to work and as a result had a massive stroke. Later in the day I felt very very tired, a crushing tiredness. I thought I was going into shock um, I went, got up to make a telephone call and my wife started yelling at me to sit down. Um, for once in my, what, my life I did what I was told and uh, she uh, told me that I stumbled into the door frame on my way through to make a phone call and my speech was all slurred when I'd responded to her. So we made a mistake and we, made, we phoned the doctors first, my big GP. But luckily they said call the paramedics straight away. So we called the paramedics and within about 10 minutes the ambulance arrived and I went to get up out of the city and I was totally paralysed down my left side. I'd gone from being a super fit 47 year old with no other illnesses or problems to being paralysed down my left side. And that started a long story really of hope and despair, I think I could call it. I'm now full of lots of hope for the future. Um, I've still got problems with my mobility, but my speech has returned to, return to normal. Um, and uh, I do quite a lot of work with the uh, with Stroke Research nationally and the National Institute for Health Research, and that's helped to restore me to where I am now. I wasn't aware that it was a stroke. I just, like I think most of the population now, I had no real idea that stroke could happen and you wouldn't be aware of it. Um, now I'm aware that it can happen to people of any age. There are around about 30,000 people of my age, under the age of 60, that have a stroke every year. That's the equivalent of a fully laden jumbo jet going down six times a month. I had fantastic family and friends who came and visited me and supported me. I got three teenage lads one of whom was just, just about to go to university, so I got everything to live for and everything to get better for. And with the help of the physiotherapists and pushing myself every day as hard as I could, I finally started to get some feeling back into my legs and my limbs, and uh, I was discharged home on December the 7th. I think specialist stroke units are a huge benefit. Um, the hyperacute stroke units they may not be the most convenient place for you to visit as a relative, but I think if I had a choice of being alive or dead, I'd rather be alive. I can laugh about things now, but uh, it's taken a long time. Um, a message I'd love to get over to everybody who has a stroke is that you can improve and you don't stop improving. You can improve continuously. I'm now nine years on from when I had my stroke and I'm still improving, physically, cognitively, emotionally. So when we get a call to a patient that's potentially having a stroke, we first of all set about trying to identify whether or not a stroke is a likely diagnosis to be working with. So the ambulance crew will undertake a range of tests, including the FAST test, where they test a patient's face, arm, speech, to see whether there's any new weakness that's arrived. They will also try to rule out some of the common stroke mimics, so things like uh, when your blood pressure is very low or when your blood sugar is very low, that can have some mimics 
that may present as a stroke. So we'll do these very quick tests to rule that out as a, as a potential. Once we have a, a differential diagnosis of a stroke, then the ambulance crew will transport that patient to hospital and the hospital that, that patient will be transported to will be a regional stroke centre which may not be your closest hospital. So the outcomes for patients are that most patients that have a stroke are discharged from hospital and are independent. There are obviously some patients that are left with a disability and unfortunately one in five patients that do have a stroke do unfortunately die which is why it's so important that when you suspect a stroke that you act fast. Ask your patient to smile or show their teeth and look for new lack of symmetry or facial droop. If present, the patient is fast positive. Assess limb power and sensation. Your patient may have numbness or pins and needles down one side. Ask the patient to lift their arms together and hold for five seconds. Does one arm drift down? If so, the patient is fast positive. Assess for new slurred speech or problems with speaking and comprehension. Ask the patient to repeat a phrase and note if they have any problems with words or sentences. If so, the patient is fast positive.